Shoot to me? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's having a little cycle now. Why not shoot? Yeah. So. I know Dean already spoke to you about it, but um, he, I think it was Saturday morning, like early, real early. Um, I just woke he up. Just talking to you about it, only Patar. Oh, uh, oh, you haven't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Only Patar. No, no, Dean hasn't spoken to me at all. Okay, okay. Um, I woke up and I see uh, everybody in the um, in the car. It was, you know, it was already. Denzel was there and Saint was there and everything. And I, I literally told them. Um, if Saint is already in it in the thing, then she should go. I'm not I'm not gonna take her spot. You six already. Um But Tar didn't like that since Denzel is not MDM. I, I don't even know who that is. I mean I don't mind if Yeah, he's uh, X PSK done. Yeah. But if if one of the boys tell tell us he's good enough, then he's good enough in my book as well. I, I trust their judgment. Um so I wasn't heartbroken about that, not at all. Uh, but Patar decided to well if if Winston ain't coming and we're taking the Zell instead I'm I'm not going I think I, I, that was his his thought process so mm -hmm. I got into his car Patar's car instead and Dean instantly called me and said well you're in now um, and I I told him uh, yeah okay if if you need me you need me no problem then when I hung up Patar is like you no you're not going you're staying with me in the car um, you're his second now he he needs to so he's literally taking. Denzel instead of the both of us because if Denzel is not there both of us can go I said yeah yeah you're right um okay so you want me in the car and he said yes then Dean calls me and asked me where I am because I didn't go and he said I need you yeah uh, we're gonna roll out and, and I need you and I said yeah but Patar is telling me to stay I'm gonna stay with Patar I, I can't leave him now when he's telling me to stay in the car He's like, you either come in or you're an op I said brother how the fuck can you call me an op you, you know I'm, I follow you to whatever whatever ends but if 30 in command tells me to do something i'm gonna do it no problem and he hung and he said okay well then you don't come back to the block i said what and he hung up and but uh, i explained to a patar and he said no no you go to the block and then after the incident was done i hear De dean on the radio telling me to go to uk oil so i go to uk oil and he says you're not going back to the block i said well, well and i tried to explain the whole situation with he's telling me Ruff. something I'm gonna follow hey, him. You, you, you're just gonna keep talking. You, that didn't happen to you, no? I, I did. I didn't notice. Oh, what the fuck? You, you didn't notice. No, I noticed you the. You noticed that a whole <laughs> fucking plane just crashed behind you while we're chilling here. What do you mean you didn't notice, bro? I, I, the explosion was so distant for me. He died. Probably oh, died. Holy fuck! <laughs> they went in there. They saved. They good. Hello. Yo. That's oh, fuck, man. It's on flip. I mean, I don't see anyone. Maybe they, maybe they ejected. Probably. Oh. What the? F is anybody in there? No one's in there. No one's in there. No one's see in there. Unless they, unless they ash. They must have uh, parachuted or something. How the fuck do you not notice a plane crash next to you? Are you all right? Are you all good in the head? Everyone good? Everyone all right? Yeah. What the fuck? I got a text from Dean saying, what is Tommy wearing exactly? Ignore it. No. Oh. But you, you just, you, yeah, you have everything, everything good, you didn't like. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Brother, look, I'm looking this way and to me, the explosion was so distant. And then I turned around, I was like, what the fuck? Yes, bro, did you not feel the heat? No, I didn't feel the heat. Did he singe on my beard hairs? <laughs> Holy fuck, okay. I think I'm gonna stand on this side. You still got hair side. on your head, man. Yo, fuck, I didn't notice. <laughs> I was, you were like, you don't notice that? I was gonna say, no, I, it's just explosions, Tommy. It will be all right. Yeah, just explosions. <laughs> it's every day that happens that a plane crashes next to you. <laughs> Holy fuck. Anyway, where was we? Um, we're at UK Oil and... Um, Dean is telling me and I'm explaining to him, I'm not disobeying your order. It's just I'm following somebody higher in command. If, if you tell me to do something and then Patar tells me to do something, I'm going to do yeah, wrong. You're, you're I doing the right thing. You follow command. That's yes. how you're supposed to do it. I know. But I'm trying to explain to him that I'm not disobeying. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to. And he said, you're not going back to the block. I said, well, fuck. And then Patar's tell me, get in the car, Winston. We're going to the block. So I wasn't even defying Dean 
in going to the block just to irrit irritate him. I wouldn't even do that, you know. Um, we go into the car, we go to the block, and Dean shoots me. He's, he's like, Winston, are you are you not going to get off the block? I said, no, brother. Patar tells me to be here, I'm going to be here. What you and, and I see his gun, I know what he's going to do. I can, If I want to shoot him, I can shoot him. But I'm, I'm not I'm never going to shoot anybody of my own people, brother. Never. Okay? So he's telling me... Um, get out of the car i get out of the car and then he asked patar why hold your gun you're gonna shoot me he said yeah if you shoot winston i'm gonna shoot you you're wrong here you know stop and um yeah he decides to shoot me and then patar shoots him um jay takes me to the hospital uh grandma's actually and then when i come back dean instantly opens upon fire upon me again when i'm on the block and patar downs him again I, mm -hmm. I was like i need to talk to dean like what the fuck so i grab him i put him in patar's car we go to grandma's and during my way there, I'm telling him, brother, what do you want me to do? I, I've explained the situation. I'm not defying you. If you're trying to, like, you can't step all over me, man. I, I, I'm not just a fucking random t trying to be in your gang. I've been here for a long time. I'm not just somebody. You feel me? I have value as well. I'm MDMA, but I'm not going to be a pussy because I'm trying to get into to, to Mandem. Mandem is my everything. I do everything for it. But I'm not going to be a pussy to be MDMA, you know? I tried to explain to him that, brother, what the f you doing so much wrong? What are you doing? Anyway, we go outside my grandmother's. I, I take um, I take his gun so he can't hurt me. And as soon as I, I get him on his feet, he knocks me out, robs me and take my Uzi. And uh, didn't say a word. To, uh, blew up uh, Patar's car or made it, made it smoke pop David Taya. I call Patar, I tell him what happened and he comes pick me up. We go back to the block. Boom, he shoots me again. Then I woke up today. I, I, I usually not around on the weekend, so I woke up today and um, mm. I grabbed my car and went out of the block to try to avoid anything until I know what, what's going on. Have you seen or heard of him stay other than that text, though, or just that text? Uh, he uh, called me over the radio. Said Winston, I want to talk to you. I said, okay, no problem. Uh, he told me to come to the cemetery, so I was like, okay, well, oh seven, oh seven, guys, mm. good to know you. Well, once I come to the uh, to the cemetery, he's. He's telling me he's so sorry, very sorry. He, he, I did nothing wrong. He he did everything wrong. Um, yeah, it sounds like from what Papa said that he only apologized. He found out that I found I was gonna find out basically. Mm, yeah, maybe. Although I must well, say he did he did, right he, did you, he did sound follow, sincere. You commands, and you follow. Like, if I say something and Adam says something, you follow me. And if Adam says something, Patar says something, you follow Adam. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. It just goes down. If anyone says something, if Patar says no, then you follow Patar. You yeah, what you're supposed I, to do. I know, and that's why those things are in place so that those people take. So I've been. Of situations. I don't know, Tommy. Do do you know how loyal I am? Um, I don't know. Like, do I know? It's a bit, a bit of a loaded question because it depends how loyal you really are. You know. Yeah. I'll tell you how loyal I am, brother. And there's something that's been on my on my shoulders for the longest time now. It's nothing. And I hope you're going to see it for what it is and not take it the wrong way. And this just, I hope this shows how loyal I am. That it's been weighing me down. Even, even though it meant nothing, it's still something I said. So, you know this whole incident with Adam and you when you shot him and he was driving around not talking to anybody? Yeah. He did talk to me. And um, I didn't show everybody how heartbroken I was because I've been around for what? Six years, seven years. Never have I had anything even remotely close to what Mandem is, you know. You built something mm -hmm. great here, Tommy. And the reason I wear the vest is because of you and I know that. But when you and Adam was having this kind of beef and nobody was talking with each other i kind of felt like I, I was fearing for what end it could come to you know no matter what i told him or what i said what i usually tell people usually works and nothing worked on him and i, I was fearing for him being still mandem or whatever mm -hmm. do i know adam better than i know you yeah probably have i bonded with him more than i have with you yes probably 
when it comes to following command and who's the leader and who I would follow to my grave, I would follow you any day of the week. Why? Because what you have built and, and who you are, brother. I don't I haven't seen like as everybody else, but I've seen enough, you know. It feels like I know you. And um, while we was driving, no matter what I said, I told him, you need to speak to him. I said, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And I was honestly fearing for this to not be resolved. No matter what I said, no matter what I did, it didn't matter. So I told him, brother, no matter what you do, you need to talk to him. He said, no, I, I don't know. I don't know. I said, brother, either you fucking talk to him or we shoot him or we kill him or something like that. Because I wanted to test him to see how serious is this, you know, to see what kind of reaction. Did I mean that? No, never. Would I ever harm you even if you harmed me? No, ever. I would never do such a thing ever. And the reason I'm telling you this is to prove my fucking loyalty. Adam would never tell you this because the love he has for me and what it could lead to. And I know it, you might take it the wrong way, so I'm taking a huge risk, you know. I just want you to know how much I respect you and how much I follow you. But with what you just said, right? What if Adam backed what you said? No, because I explained to him while we were driving. I said, you know that Tommy is the leader, though. Whatever he says goes. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. He's the leader. It's his thing. He's the number one. No matter what he say, we're always going to follow him. I didn't mean what I said. Yeah, he said, I know. Moment, like, you, you said, yeah. but you talk to him or, you, or we shoot him. What if he had said, yeah, we shoot him? <laughs> no. Let's say then he wasn't I, thinking straight. I would have told you. Because my, re my, my reason I said that is I want to know if, if that's where we're going. Is that what we're looking at? You know? And it wasn't. And that calmed me down. So you're doing it to gauge where his head was at. Yeah. But it's hard to explain to anybody that that's my what I mean, you know? Because it's very easy to just say, oh, I didn't mean that, or it just flew out of me. I have, I'm very sneaky in my approach sometimes, but when it comes to demanding, brother, I want to be completely straight. I'm not acting to be something. I'm not trying to be something. I am myself. And that's why I love Demanda, because I can be myself and feel like I belong. That was a... Uh... What's the best way to put this? That was a very big dick thing to say. Because that really could have backfired, big man. I know. I hope that shows how much I respect you and how loyal I am. Because, Tommy, if you were to shoot me right now, everybody knows I'm dead, so. Why would I shoot you right now, though? Some people would take that the wrong way. No, I mean, it, it seems strange to say. Yeah. When I sat there and deeped it, that does kind of make sense. You know, it, it, it all depends on me trusting what you're saying with what you would have done right? yeah and that's what it boils down to i have to trust yeah. you in the first place to know that what you're saying there isn't yeah. a lie because you could say that and not mean it you could say it in a in a sense of like oh i'm trying to like cover my ass here because i said this yeah and um no i do trust you so brother if i i, I would never have told you this if 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 i had any any if there was a in once in a trillion chance that i would ever harm you ever if you told me to jump right. from a fucking cliff i don't would do that, that. I this, man don't don't do these things i don't want to be a yes man I, it, i'm not though if you're gonna be a full man then member one day right don't be a yes man like, i can fuck up you can go against me i want you to follow my command but you can still question my judgment and i always will but your so command you jump yeah. off a cliff and it's very clearly like not a good idea to do you can question that i would question it but i would still do it it's, it's just who I am, brother. I've always been that way. Dean told me the other day to jump from the balcony. I did. That's Dean, though. Yeah, I know. There's also one thing. What if this happens again? Because if I'm going to be honest with you, brother, I love Dean to death. But he's... I, I, I fear for him. I don't think he... Well, it seems like Dean... Dean likes to push his luck, right? 
he has his moments where he's like he has two modes he's in ride or die for the gang mode or he's in how much shit can i cause tommy mode and many times he gets away with shit and i think that's what i think he likes to push that and see what his boundaries are all the time and he tries to extend them more and more yeah now there's probably many ways of how that guy's brain's thinking right now maybe he's thinking that oh I'm, I'm hearing that he keeps using this whole MDMA thing against you guys. In a way of like, you're not full man them, so I don't like yeah. this. this and saying. you want me to be honest with that? But then I knowing probably... him, knowing yeah. him, that's to get to me, not to you. That's that's to, like, that's him that like, send a message that like, you gotta make these boys MDMA of us and keep fucking. And I hope life. I hope that is the thing. And if it is, I think it's working because from the day I became MDMA, or even before I became MDMA, it, it's. I don't want to change because of the status it gives or for, for anything. I, tr truly, what would the chain change for me? I'm already doing everything the, mem the members are doing. Sometimes even more so. I get picked above men the members, you know. I do get the respect. But after that incident, brother, that made me realize how much I need that chain. Because he wouldn't be able to do that. And he's calling he's calling me not family in the car where we were driving or while I was driving him to grandmother's, which I forgot to tell you. He told me you mean literally zero to me. You're not family. Yeah, no. You're MDMA. Think, You're nothing he's doing to, that me. to get at me, not you. That's his yeah. message to me saying that you gotta make these guys man them. No. Because it, he knows it'll come back to me from you guys, right? Yeah. But there's other he has a very weird way of thinking and he does weird <laughs> shit. Yeah. Trust me, I've been for a lot with him. Yeah. But I'm not sure about the shooting thing, but I'm not sure that runs. I don't care what kind of message trying to send to anyone. I don't think that runs at all. No. And he has no right to find you from the block because that ain't as cool. So if he says that again, uh, can anybody other than... If Patar or Adam tells yeah. you to, then yeah, of course. Of course. Okay. If either of them says that you're fine to be on the block, then you're fine to be on the block. Yeah, and that's literally Reason what happened. Reason why second and third. That's why it's there. Wow. I'm saying you did the right thing. If Dean says one thing, Patar says one thing, you follow Patar's orders, not Dean's orders. Yeah, exactly. I good we straightened that out and oof, I'm glad I told you, you know, the other thing as well. That's the way you can run all the time. Yeah. As long as you run that way, then you always be fine in my books. Alright, I appreciate that. Alright, we get heading back. Don't threaten to treat me ever again. Uh, well, sorry? Don't threaten to treat me ever again. Never. Never, ever. Don't be given, don't be given no fucking Dwayne is calling me. <laughs> what should I tell Dwayne? Ignore that guy. Oh, ignore that guy. Fine. Yeah. Don't be talking to that guy either. No. I'm hearing some of you might have been chatting to him again. No, I don't like what he did at all. But sometimes he calls me and... He's put himself in this position. So... It kills me that he has, but it's still his decision to be here, you know, where he is. What he did is, I think, I don't know, but I, in my book, that's... Well, we can't come do. back in our lives like nothing happened. I don't care. I don't want anyone to be friends with him. Yeah. He has, he has a lot of fucking making up to be able to get back into our lives. No, he's calling me to get ganja. I know that. He's been trying to get some weed. <laughs> 